I had uh, a big crash. In fact, you can even see that this whole arm is bent. That's supposed to be completely level. But it actually still works just fine. Bent. Um, so my problem was every time I turned on my drone, the camera would start up in this position where it would lean. I started getting gimbal overload problems. So, I'm gonna turn it on. See, like that. So, as you see how it's crooked? Okay, so because it's crooked, what's happening, there's a spindle on the back that got misaligned. So, I'm gonna show you how to fix that so when you start up your drone, this is straight. Now, this is pretty extreme. So, yours might start up like this. But if it starts up like this and you have to calibrate the gimbal every single time you turn on your drone, then this will fix it. So go ahead and turn off your drone. What you're going to do is you're going to unscrew these screws right here on here. I would suggest getting a, a magnetic tip because if you lose one of these screws they can be really hard to find. I just bought a kit like this that has a whole bunch of different things. I'll send a link to the one that I bought in the description. Just take off these five screws. Now these two top screws are different than the bottom screws. I think this middle one's the same as these top ones. So make sure when you take these out you kind of keep them on your table like where you took them out. While you are holding your camera level, this right here should be horizontal. And you can see on mine, it is angled. So because of this, once this is level, that's where your, this is where your camera will start up. So you need to make sure this piece right here is level with your camera straight. So to do that, you just pull off this board. It should slide off. This top one kind of gets stuck sometimes because of the ribbon so close. So if you slowly pull this off, and the top one you just kind of have to like wiggle it out. Okay. So pull that out. Okay, now what you want to do, you'll see in here, so you'll see right there, that is the piece that you're going to rotate. So you take needle nose pliers, which I just lost. Okay. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is hold this as level as you can. In fact, if you have that original gimbal lock, maybe you could stick that gimbal lock on there to hold it nice and straight. Now you're going to take pliers and spin this and so it's straight this piece right here okay so hold that level and spin this so it's straight if you put this all back together and you turn it back on and it's even more crooked then you rotated it the wrong direction. Meaning mine was only this crooked when I tried to fix it and I barely rotated it like 20 degrees to make it straight and then it and then it was like this when I turned it back on. So what I did is I took it all apart and rotated it 360 degrees the other direction so it was straight again and then when I turned it back on it was perfect. So then when you stick this plate back on, this circuit board. Okay, and when you stick it all back on there, once you stick it all back on, hold the camera level and make sure that that is straight. If it's not straight, take back off the circuit board and do it again until it's as straight as possible. Because wherever level is, is going to be your startup position. So if your camera turns on like this, then it's it's because that's not straight. Mine's just a little crooked, so I'm going to adjust it again. Went too much. Okay, that looks a lot better.
Okay. And you can test it too by if you rotate the camera, you'll see this move. That piece right where my screwdriver is pointing to. So if you if you make that perfectly horizontal wherever your camera position is, that's that's going to be the startup mode. So eyeball it and make sure it looks perfectly straight. If you want, get one of those little levels, stick it on the top of the camera. Okay, mine looks pretty straight. Now I'm going to put back on the cover. Okay, okay, so now I'm going to turn it back on. Now it's straight. It's a little crooked. So if you don't like that it's it's a little bit crooked, um, you can either adjust that thing again or go in and calibrate the gimbal. The only problem is I noticed that when I calibrate the gimbal, um, every time I restart the drone, it goes back to the original position. So let me see if it does it again. Because I don't want to have to calibrate the gimbal every single time. So click the three dots up in the corner. C click on the gimbal icon. Click gimbal auto calibration. Click OK. Okay. So now the gimbal's perfectly straight after I did the gimbal calibration. But now I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. Let's see what it looks like. Actually, it looks straight again. So, if you keep having the problem, it's because that piece got misadjusted. When I was trying to fix it earlier, um, because my gimbal crashed so bad, this piece right here comes off very easily from this, so there's probably some type of other locking mechanism that broke. Anyway, um, when I took this off and then stuck it on and, and stuck it back on, the camera was wigging out so bad it would, as soon as I turned it on, the camera would shake and spin and rotate, and then in the app it said cam, uh, gimbal overload. And then I found out that it was that back piece. So I hope this helps someone else that's having the same problem. I was ready to chuck this thing in the trash.